Hello, welcome. We're going to be talking about the basics of scientific inquiry, and this is the first part of the two part edition for this topic. Uh, at the end of the session, you should be able to understand what are the methods for acquiring knowledge, how are they useful within the scientific inquiry, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of each and every one of these methods. In order to solve problems, we require knowledge. And then, in order to acquire this knowledge to be able to solve the problem, we must understand where can we and how can we acquire this knowledge. Data is all around us, information is all around us, but how do we turn that into knowledge? There are four basic ways to acquire knowledge. Some are better than the other, but they are all kind of find their usefulness within the scientific inquiry. The four includes intuition, authority, rationalism, and empiricism. The first one is based on your gut feeling, how you feel about the situation and what you think could be done. All coming from you, from your feeling. It has its shortcoming and it has its limitation. The next one is authority, whereby we base, we go or approach somebody that we believe has better knowledge about a particular issue to get knowledge. The next one is rationalism, in which we acquire knowledge by looking at issues logically, by looking at how things fit together using proper logical reasoning. Then we have empiricism, whereby knowledge is acquired through experience or more or less observation. So these are the four basic ways of acquiring knowledge. Intuition, your gut feeling, authority, relying on somebody who knows better than you, rationalism, using logic, logical reasoning, and empiricism, using experience and observation.